Hi, this is Eric here, and well, things do go wrong. Here we've got a, a couple, and the camera focused on the background rather than on their faces in the foreground. So, what we're going to do is we're going to change the depth of field around the opposite way around so that their faces are in focus and that the background is out of focus. So, first of all, what we're going to do is measure the diameter of these little point sources here. You'll see there's these little circles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, and they determine the amount of the blur. So if I just zoom in, okay, so let's measure the diameter of the circle. And I'm going to go around the outside just because it's a bit easier. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So diameter is 15, but it's actually one less than that because we want the diameter from the middle of that pixel to the middle of that pixel. So instead of being 15, it's 14. So just uh, remember that number, because we're going to use that soon. And before we focus it, I'm just going to make a... Um, I'm going to dupl duplicate the layer. Sorry, wrong one. And now I'm going to make a selection. And I'm going to do it quite quickly. In reality, you'd probably do it a bit slower than this. There we go. So we've uh, selected the couple. And now we're going to select Focus Magic. And remember that the diameter was 14. So I'm going to put 14 in over here. Wow, look at that. So that's basically this lady's eyes now fixed. So if you click and hold down the preview image like that, you'll see the before image let go and you'll see the after image um, that that looks much better that's what her eye is supposed to look like and if we click on her earring uh, that looks much better so if you click on that's before and that's after much better so now I'm going to focus the whole image by clicking OK and there you go so that looks, that looks pretty good. And now we're going to blur the background. And to do that, we need to first invert the selection. So now we're selecting that part. And I'm going to select to blur using Gaussian Blur 5. Let's have a look, see if that looks OK. Yep, that looks fine uh, for Gaussian Blur, so blur it and remove the selection. And look at that. Now I'm going to just show you the before and after for the whole image by turning this on and off, this layer. So uh, that's after, that's before and after, before and after. And that's a, that's a huge improvement. So anyway, that's how to change the depth of field of an image, and I hope you have fun with your own images, and um, see you later. Cheers!